Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little DIY. I got this a hutch on Facebook market. I've been in the hunt for one for a while. I just didn't know like what size I wanted it or what style. There's so many. So if you're in the hunt for a hutch, go to Facebook market. You will find so many. I got this one for 75 The guy who sold it to me wanted 150 for it, but I took them down to 75 So that was great. I went with the small one because I put it in my dining room. Um, I have a couple more furniture in my dining room, so I didn't want it to look too cluttered in here. But I have always wanted a hutch. So I'm going to transform this one into... Um, farmhouse this style. time around i decided to go with this color because it's more a creamy color and it matches the furniture it does have like some water stains which is fine because i might use the what is it the liquid sand if you want to see how it turns out just keep watching and i'm excited myself to see how this bad boy will turn out
So right here, what I'm doing is sanding it because I didn't use the liquid sandpaper because the hutch was just a little rough already. But being that there was watermarks, I don't know if you could still see it even though I gave it two coats. Um, it was still go showing through. So I tried sanding it. Um, it did leave after a couple of coats that I gave it. But you could see just a little bit. But not too much of it. So right here I'm just trying to sand as much as I can of it. So this is my second coat I'm giving it at the moment. The can they said one coat will do, but to me I felt like it didn't. So I gave it um actually three coats and with three coats it did a pretty good job. <laughs> here it's only been two coats and right there the backboard as you can see on the left you could still see a little bit of the black i guess because it was black so it needs more um coats on it but so far everything else is looking good it just with the third coat it definitely did um justice to this hutch so right here, I'm spray painting the knobs with this um, matte spray paint I picked up at Walmart. I decided to go with black because um, it would look pretty against this color. Also, um, this is how it, it looks. Like I took them outside so you can see how it's not like a white color, but it's like a between cream and white, which is perfect because it's exactly the color I was looking for. here i decided to paint the inside of the door it never clicked to paint it i figured because it's the inside no one would see it but then i was like oh let me just paint it because it would look better if i did So right here, I decided to take this um, sticky um, paper, oh, I forgot how you call them, <laughs> um, and put it inside my hutch on the shelves. Um, I should have painted it, but you know what, I'll just, maybe like in the near future, I will paint it inside. But for now, I was like, well, let me just put this on it because it will look pretty. So... I, yeah, that's why I was like, let me just do it. But let me tell you, putting this on was a struggle. I couldn't get it right. I kept getting bubbles. And I don't know if it was because I have had this for a while and I had it away that maybe it was too sticky. I don't know. It's just in the paper, like the sticky, like it didn't feel like hard. It was very, very soft. And I don't know if it's because I had it away and this day was so hot that it just made the paper feel like what do you call it let me see like it was just 
it was not cooperating basically <laughs> This is how it looks so far it still has a little bit of bubble in it but i tried my best i was just not it was just not having it <laughs> it was just did not want to stick right but down here in the bottom one for some reason it was a little easier i guess maybe the way i put it i don't know i know it just was much easier to put than the top one So this is how it looks. I think it looks alright, but now I feel like I have to paint the inside because it just will look much better. But like I said, I'll just leave it for the near future. I was just impatient and I just wanted to get this much done. But for now, it was staying like that. But this is how it turns out. I ended up putting the knobs and everything the, that night. Uh, but this is with the three coat and i'm so glad i went with this color like it came out so beautiful so guys here's the best part we're gonna start decorating this is all the stuff i'm gonna use um i do thrifting now and these are a couple of stuff i found while i was thrifting some hobby lobby items kirkland's um right here this um little shelf thing it's supposed to be like yes a shelf for the wall um i got a hobby lobby but oh guys don't you miss that 40 percent coupon sometimes it comes out you know handy it works out handy but yeah this right here this little jug i got it for five dollars i was excited to get this little guy um and these candle holders are from antique farmhouse it's a three set but i'm just gonna use two set please don't mind the mess in the background i was cleaning while i was trying to decorate my hutch and um i also got these little cute pictures and this little um i don't want to call them i don't know what it's supposed to be for but i got it at hobby lobby also these wooden masters I want to say they called I it was a set of six I got them in Etsy um also that bell is I got it at Michael's is actually full price because it's from the new I guess full collection I got this candle from Target um this little bowl I'm gonna call it I got it also thrifted um those two little cards were from um Etsy I got this bag in um, online actually in the Magnolia website and I just love it so yeah this is um, everything I'm gonna use so keep watching to see Guys, I'm sorry if I look like a hot mess, but majority of the time, this is how I look when I'm at home and I'm in clean mode. I don't care how I look. <laughs>
guys if you have made it this far into my video thank you so much um please don't forget to like subscribe share comment let me know what you think i love doing diys i'm constantly doing them even though i don't film them but i do them and um yeah let me know if you would like to see more diys um down below So here's the final look. I'm so happy and in love with how everything looks all put together. Like it's definitely give me farmhouse um, vintage antique look what I was going for. So I'm truly happy. I uh, just for now I'm going to leave it like that because um, Halloween is right around the corner. <laughs> And I cannot wait to decorate this bad boy for Halloween. Like, I'm truly obsessed and happy with the way it came out. Like, I love it. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy.